So I was watching Solar Games discuss the One Ring and its its distribution, and it got my my mind thinking about one particular question. But before that, Solar Games, a wonderful MTG content creator, fairly new to YouTube and video making, but very knowledgeable and has quite a a history with the game. And I believe he he sells products, so he has a retail standpoint as well as obviously a game standpoint. But he was discussing the mentality Watsy should have in terms of its distribution, what he would quote unquote do if he was in Watsy's position. And it, it, it posed this question in my mind, which is how much can this blow up in Watsy's face? Well, not quite, but it does relate to that, that mentality. So the, the real question is how exactly can Watsy get away with anything? How, how much can they baby this card and, and control its release before we say something? So his mentality was that they need to control the distribution, which is fairly important. This is a huge PR stunt, essentially. The, this one ring has to be found and has to be found within the right time frame for Watsy. If it's found too quick, there's issues. If it's found too slow, there's more issues. It is really subject to this precision in order to make it work as the PR stunt that it is. Otherwise it can easily turn into a PR nightmare. So his mentality was they need to keep track of its printing. They need to keep track of the box it's in. They need to keep track of the palette it's on and where it goes to ensure that it is released to the public. And that posed the question to me, how acceptable is it for Watsi or Hasbro to control the card in that way. Obviously, as anyone wanting to to get the card, it's really important that everything goes smoothly, that it does get out into the world. It's not in, as he put it, some random pack in say Walmart or Target, as he referenced, but goes to a proper uh, LGS store that will see it be opened. And the issue there is, as soon as, as any of that starts happening, if Watsi even know the pack it's in, if they know the serial number of the box it's on, if they know which pallet it is leaving the warehouse, there is now a fundamental issue with that because regardless of their intention to actually get out to the public, it is now foul play. They cannot present it as one in three million odds of any pack found within both the holiday bundle and normal collector booster boxes if by some degree they know where it's going because then they morally have to release that information and we as as uh, consumers have to then be able to understand we don't have a chance to it because of our locality. And that's the, the quandary that's, that's sort of rotating in my head is how can they get away with that? Because if they don't do that, then there's going to be even more of a nightmare because it might be found by someone who has no interest in it, so no understanding of what it is, and it, it just sits in their cupboard, worse, it gets destroyed, or it could be found by someone uh, extremely quick. They can then manipulate it in, to their own degree, depending you know, how, how much they are uh, invested in MTG in terms of uh, financial value, you know, if they want to try and manipulate the market. There is so many issues and concerns that could arise from the logistics of not only getting this card out, but also it hitting the market and being sold and transferred from player to player. That's, there does need to be some level of control, but at the same time, if there is any level of control, then Watsi are presenting this card to every consumer under a false pretense. And so how can they, how can they solve this? There, there is literally nothing that they can do that won't result in some form of backlash. If they, if, even if they don't do anything, if it is found by X person, if X person is a content creator with some tie to Hasbro or Watsi, doesn't matter how small, they will then be judged as if Watsi has given it straight to them. That is the, the mentality that spawns out of, of envy when you have something as monumentous as this one ring. And that's not a, a good thing for the company or for the game. This is a really divisive topic and it's only gonna get worse the closer it gets to release. So how, how could they tackle this? 
Simply put, they couldn't. They, they would need to print more. They would need to either disclose everything or print more. Because again, say they were to to ensure it, it stays in the USA. Not for, you know, any bad reason, but simply prevent it being lost through, you know, sea travel, because freighting is not, you know, the greatest thing. Uh, it's not lost to damage or uh, warehouse issues, all these logistical nightmares that they're trying to prevent. Then they need to keep track of the boxes in. As soon as they know the box it's in and what pallets it's on, then they're able to understand where that pallet is going. And even if it's as small as them knowing it's in the USA rather than any of the other countries that are serviced with English boxes, then it's now a significant issue to the play base. Like for instance, I, I have no motivation whatsoever to even attempt this. No matter how ridiculous the price tag is and how quick the payday could be, it's, it's a lottery that systematically won't work because at the back of my head, there's one huge argument, and that is this will never come to Australia because it is just a nightmare for them to trust that it would get to Australia undamaged, protected, and hit the market appropriately. Because again, if this card is found too quickly, everyone holds resentment to Watsi. If this card is found too slowly, everyone holds resentment to Watsi. There is realistically no upside the further we get into this, this mess. The, the, all the PR, all the press, all the positivity around this card right now is great for them. That's, that's their mentality, it's exactly what they wanted. But I don't think they've rationalized exactly the amount of backlash that can and probably will eventually amount from this card hitting the market. They cannot do anything. Not only that, but certain people can't even do anything with the card. Because again, it's not just about having ties to magic. Whoever finds this card, there will be people who absolutely scrutinize their life to ensure this was found randomly. And even then, there will always be a level of conspiracy that, that this was rigged. There is no way to clear that up in its entirety. There will always be some underlying resentment because it's just the way the world works. It, it doesn't matter if it's an even chance for everyone, there will be a way to find a reason, a rationale that I didn't get the card because of this. That is human nature. So yeah, that's, that's basically all I have to say. I mean, I'll pose it to you. What, what degree of control would you allow Watsi or Hasbro when it comes to this card? Because I would, I would assume you'd want it to hit the market, right? So in order to ensure that it hits the market, it, they do kind of need to keep track of where it's going. Heck, they need to even keep track of if it's printed and packaged. So there's, there's just a lot of, of points at which they do need to control it to ensure that again, this PR event is successful, but at the same time, if they exert any level of that control, it is now subject to foul play and not that one in three million odds that is clearly advertised for the card. It is going to be a very interesting event to see everything unfold. And I, I honestly, I can't see it having a positive outcome for them. There is just no way that all this, this positive press doesn't just sour.